I'm interviewing my mum, Sarah Peterson Green. So how was it like being a child in the Faroe Islands during summer? Uh, it was quite, uh, it was lovely um, when the weather was good. It's not always that great, but when, when, when it was no rain, no wind, no fog, we were out all day. Um, came back from school, we were out, we came back home when we were hungry. Um, we were playing outside, we did have no television until I was eight years old. Um, and not because my parents didn't want any, it's because they didn't have any tr transmissions in the Faroes at that time. Um, so, we, and we didn't have, we have no video games or we had nothing. So it was our imaginations and our toys that we played with and outside. And the doors, we never locked any front doors, so it was always open for us to come in and we play, played freely outside, anywhere. Sounds lovely. And um, what was it like in winter? Ooh, winter, that's a different story. So it was very dark, um, um, but, and we had, but we had lots of snow. So after school, we were always sledging, ice skating, um, and, and there was so much snow that um, uh, all the roads were full of snow so we could ice skate on the actual roads. Sounds lovely. Mmm, quite nice. And then we had, we had a lake, there's a lake in, in, in the village and that one always got frozen up so we had ice skating competitions and the older kids arranged the competition for all age groups. So yeah, so that, that was great. Okay. Sounds really nice. And um, what was your experience at school? Um, at school, we, we it was it was great. We our school, I think that was general for Scandinavia. We start eight o'clock every morning, and it still is still it very is. early. Mm. And um, and I don't think they do it nowadays, but we. Start at eight, and then we went home for a lunch break, twelve o'clock, and then we went back to school at one for two more hours, and that was it. And we probably had the same subjects as you guys. You're probably a bit smarter nowadays, but um, I think my favourite, um, my favourite subject was probably literacy. I all languages. We had lots of languages also when we were little, um, and I yeah enjoyed that. I was rubbish at math, um, so yeah. I I prefer um, literacy as well actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, how did you end up living in London, and do you miss the Faroe Islands? Um, I. Married your father, so I ended up in London. We met in Vietnam, and we lived in Spain, and for a, quite a few years. And then you were born, and we came to London to live. Dad has got that. Your dad got a job here, so we moved. And I do miss the Faroes, but I see more of my family now being closer to Scandinavia than I was in, in oh. Spain. So yeah, so that, that's all right. What did you want to be when you were a child? Uh, I thought I was going to do something with languages, but when I was really little, I would love to be a stewardess. So a hostess on an aeroplane, I thought they were so glamorous and so beautiful. Um, but then when I got a bit older, I thought I was going to do something with languages. Yeah. But it didn't happen. So I'm an OT, occupational therapist today. And are you happy with what you work with, with today? Yeah, I am. I am. It's great. So what I do, I do rehabilitation in, um, for neurological patient. So patient who have maybe brain injuries and stroke mm. 
you know, stroke, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I do I train them at home in the community. And is it to get them more independent? It is. It is, and to live live with their disability. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So see you next time. Bye.